Welcome Battle Brothers. In this video I'll be showing you all nine hidden weapons, armors and ability books in the location Grant Bridge Skyer, here on the map, southeast from Raventhorpe, your settlement when you first enter England. Grant Bridge Skyer is one of the earliest zones you'll come to when you arrive in England. So make sure you favorite this video. And just so you guys know, we'll be covering every single area in the game and you can check the playlist link below for each one of them. So subscribe with the bell icon and let's get started. So in the south of Grant's Bridgeshire, you will find this city here of Ravensburg where you can find an ability book and also some armor. Apparently we're just outside the city, but I recommend entering through the front here where the gate is. So from this watchtower up here, you'll be able to find the first item on the right here inside this house. This is where you find the armor. Huntsman armor, there we go. Increase range damage while hitting enemies from further than 20 meters away. Additional increase to speed. Now this is on the wolf skill tree and the wolf skill tree is all about range damage. So it really is incredible for a hunter type bow build that uses range. But not my playstyle at all. Second thing on our list is this ability book which is in the exact same village of Ravensburg. And to get there from that chest what we need to do is run across here and you'll find a door. Now it says the door is locked so you will need to find the key you can just use odin's visions to find it i've already killed the man with the key so it's just down here for me obviously if you choose to do it stealthily that's up to you but i just killed everyone now we can unlock this door but now we have the rush and bash ability as you can see you pick someone up and you essentially either hurl them off a cliff or you run them into the wall. In my opinion, it's a lot better than the ability we picked up in Norfolk, which is the Rage of Helheim ability, where you have to mash RB, LB until they die. You do more damage with this ability, but it can be interrupted. So Russian Bash is definitely the way to go in that sense. And now we've discovered everything in Ravensburg. Now, if you head to the east, you will find another town just here on the map. This is called Waldet. Now at the back of this town, you'll find a church. And in that church is another ability book, which you can pick up. This next ability is the Incendiary Power Trap. Attaches a small pouch to your arrow that spreads a volatile powder wherever the arrow strikes. Any nearby movement causes the power to burst into flames. Surprise, the clueless passes by. So we're about to use this now. I can just shoot on the ground and it sets him on fire as you can see he's about to burn to death. Now you can also use this ability as kind of like setting up a trap. If you know if I for example headshot this guard and other guards will come and look at his body I can plant an incendiary arrow next to him and then they'll all you know burst into flames. I mean even this guy has burst into flames just looking at the other guy's body. So this fourth one on the map is just to the north of the last location we were at where this viewpoint is. If I zoom in, you will find Melbourne over here. Melbourne has another ability book. As you can see, the viewpoint is over there. And this one is rather easy to get. It's essentially in this big tower here. Do take care though, because there's quite a few enemies around here. You can raid the location if you want, but it's relatively easy to do stealthily. For example, we can see a guy down there. He actually has the key for this door here which obviously hides the treasure ability book within. I recommend climbing up the back of the tower just here. So you get to the top. You'll also find an opal here. Now, I already did a video about opals, but essentially they're how you get like legendary weapons. Um, on a daily basis, in fact, you can get different legendary weapons if you collect them. I'll link that video down below in the description if you are interested. No one else is looking. I reckon we can assassinate this guy. Let's go ahead and drop down again, and then we can assassinate this guy. Now we've caused some chaos. It's, I also recommend raiding after this as well. 
for now we can unlock this door and we can claim our ability book which is what we're here for this is the mark of death ability mark of death hold rt to mark a sighted enemy release to let fly a deadly volley volley of arrows so as you guys can see it's kind of like red dead redemption So as you can see, I can target all these guys in front of me. And then we do damage to every single one of them, which is just insane. Now they're all pissed off though, so we probably should have headshot them. Now for number five secret treasure on our map. If we go directly left from Melbourne, the location we just raided, you'll find Wandery. And there's actually a piece of armor hidden in this little settlement, right at the back in fact. I recommend going around the outside of the city. You'll find a very secluded orchard which you can very easily sort of get towards the location. But do watch out for the two cards out the back here. One of them is on patrol but we can easily just jump into the grass behind him and claim our weapon. Hopefully this guy doesn't turn around. Nope, I think we're good. Fantastic. Okay, now we can jump into the back and pick up this weapon for ourselves. <gasps> Do take care of all the guards within, though. <sighs> Seems one of them spotted us. I want to talk to you. After you've dealt with Out them, just go ahead and leave the chest. So this is actually a kite shield that increases your heavy damage based on how long you maintain the block stance. It also has an attack power of 80, a speed of 23, which is really slow, stun of 99, block 89, which is really high, and a very heavy weight to it. So as you guys can see in combat, like this thing just absolutely shields you. However, you cannot move at all while using it. As you can see, their attacks don't really take much stamina up while you're walking with a shield as well. So for this next one, we have to come to the left on the east of the map just here, and you're going to find another armor set. This one is rather hidden though. We're on the north area on the waterfall where you'll find a secret staircase. So you can see that's the big tower over there, which has some more treasure underneath it. We actually need to jump off this big waterfall that we're standing on just here near the ruin. We, As you guys can see, right at the foot of the waterfall is a rather invisible sort of cave here. Then we can jump into here and swim down once again. Because there's even more secrets, my friends. You don't mind extreme long distance waterways though. This reminds me of potholing. It makes me extremely claustrophobic. And here we are. Wasn't too bad in the end. Oh, okay. Huntsman Man Braces. Once again, they increase range damage once you have all five of them and an additional increase to speed as well. The next piece of armor you can grab is located just here on the map. If you go northeast from this viewpoint in the center, you will find a small marshland village with this armor piece just over here. It's located in the main central house in the middle. Utbeck is the name of the village. We also might need to grab that key from the man on the other side to actually access it. And you can find the guy if you just use Odin's sight. He'll be highlighted for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and headshot him right now. One, two, Boom. After he's dealt with, you can just go ahead and grab his key and open the chest. Getting inside the house itself is pretty easy. You can just jump through the window. And we can open the chest itself. And we'll be rewarded with the House Carl Axe. The House Carl's Axe is a superior bearded axe. 57 attack damage, a 62 stun, weight 11, speed 51, and crit of 49. Increase attack after each hit up to 10 times. This pairs extremely well with the other weapon you get at the start of the game, Varin's Axe. 
because it increases speed after each hit up to 10 times as well. So if you go ahead and attack with this weapon and then you swap to this weapon, you'll do a ridiculous amount of damage, especially if you have the skill perk, which lets you dual swap over here. When dual wielding, hold RT plus R2 swap weapon hands. Next, we have the eighth piece of armor on our list, and that is on the northeast corner of the zone Rant Bridge Shire. You can see it's kind of in this swampy area just here. We just grab the axe from over here so you can literally just come over here to the Sonam hideouts. As you can see, it's very foggy, but it's a similar setup to the place we just now. visited. Soham hideouts. It's very easy to sneak around this area. So I'm going to go to the top left. We essentially need to get in this house here. Be too difficult for us because it's so foggy. As long as this guy doesn't turn around. Yeet. Assassino! To gain entry, I recommend just killing this guy in front of the front door and we're good. And you'll find this chest. The Huntsman Breaches. Superior Pants. Arm 18, Leg 19, Weight 14, Evasion 11, Hate Resistance 23. Once again, they are a member of the Huntsman Armor Set. Next at number 9 on the list, we're going to be grabbing an ability book. That is in the northeast corner of the map, just over here on the Isle of of LA Monastery. Now I recommend approaching from the eastern side where the lake is because it's actually a secret entrance. This is the docks and just behind me on the east side of the castle you will find this secret cave which is an ancient entrance that leads all the way under the monastery. Best raise my hood here. This is actually very useful for the main mission as well. We go ahead and assassinate this guy. Hopefully this guy won't hear it. I think we're good. Perfect. Get Rex. And here we have the book. The book of knowledge. Which gives us the ability Dive of the Valkyries. This is actually... I always say this, but this is genuinely one of my favorite abilities in the game. Because, let me show you my battle brothers. Dive of the Valkyries. Launch yourself into the air and come crashing down on your enemies. If you use it on a group of enemies, it just does mega damage to everyone. And it also does like enough damage where it's actually useful to use in a boss fight as well. Now, if you guys want the rest of the Huntsman armor set, make sure you check out the next video in the playlist link below. So you can collect them all, like some kind of... Pokemon trainer. I'll also have a video guide on all the artifact locations linked below too. So drop a like if you found this helpful and subscribe with the bell icon if you want to become a true battle brother. I'll see you in the next one.